how's it going? I just wanted to share a uh, neat little trick I found for finding the length of your push rod for LS engines. As you know, the push rod checker, you gotta kind of finagle a little bit. You gotta pull out the rocker, adjust it, put the rocker back in, torque it, check the valve lash, and then basically continue the process until you find it where it's, you know, right on the money. But this little, little trick I found is basically what I call the string method. And I haven't really seen anybody else do this online, so I thought I'd share what I did to find the push rod length for my engine. And basically, I took two pieces of string. On the push rod le length checker, I'm using a uh, comp cams uh, push rod length checker. From that point, I stuck a string at the bottom end to keep the bottom of the push rod stationary. And the top string, I wrapped it around a few times in a uh, direction where when you pull it, it actually extends out the push rod length. So basically what you're doing essentially is holding it with one hand and then turning it with the other. If you had a conventional Chevy V8, you know, with, with a valley, you can be able to uh, get your fingers in there. But this one, obviously, the deck is so high on the cylinder head, there's no way you can actually stick your fingers in there and rotate it so it can have zero lash on the valve. So this is basically what I did. I just uh, took a string, hold it stationary. The other one I just wrapped it around a few times and I just, of course, beginning you gotta make sure you start with uh, the exhaust valve opening. So as you see in the video, I'm adjusting the rotation of the engine till I feel the exhaust valve just start to begin to open or opening. And that means on the intake valve, it's all the way down, it's flush. There's no way it's gonna have any uh, kind of misreading. So from that point, I uh, installed the rocker. I just snug it out pretty good where it's not gonna move around. Of course, you can see it has a little bit of uh, play on it. You know, you can hear it tapping. I grab my string. My right hand holds the, the push rod length checker. And my left hand, I'm gonna slowly pull out until basically I can't pull out no longer and I'm not using a lot of force I'm just enough where it's basically snug and from that point I check the rocker and there's zero lash and it just moves around just a little bit from side to side which is perfectly fine and from that point I pull off the rocker and from my right hand the string that's holding the, the bottom end of the length checker I just pull it straight out that way the top of the uh, checker is not turning it's not giving you a, a misreading so you just pull it straight out and from that point you can just count how many lengths it is mine turned out to be about uh, nine turns and a half so from that point I'll just make my calculations to see what the uh, actual length is but this is just a cool way that I found to check if you got a length checker and Hopefully it works out for some of you guys. I'm not, I just thought I'd share this with y'all, and this is what's gonna what I'm gonna do on my end to check the length and uh, make sure I get the right push rod length for uh, my LS engine, in which it's it's a work in progress. So uh, hopefully this works out for you guys maybe in the future. Just thought I'd share.